Hi everybody, welcome to another setting stream on Bowtie Gaming 14. So today we're going to jump back into some more Dragon Quest 11 and go from there. So on that note, we're jumping right in. <laughs> and as per usual, audio testing. Alright, test. Alright, cool. Get one or two things finalized, and then, like per usual, be off to the races. Eventually, I will get to a point like it was with Twitch Studios Beta, where I will no longer feel like I have to do that, but considering this is only the this up uh, this particular streaming week will be the second full week I'll be using this uh, particular program. Like, yeah, it might do for a little bit longer, especially with the audio desyncing issues. Although last session with uh, Thousand Year Door it didn't happen, so I don't know. Maybe it's random. All right, so on to the meat of the thing. So as you noticed, the party is significantly higher leveled. I level grinded off screen. So we should be good for any challenges that await, apart from the super boss, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do at this point, because pretty much it almost, like, th there's definitely ways to defeat said super boss, but, like, under level 99, but it's one of those, like, it's difficult even at level 99. So that might be one of those, if someone donates channel points for it, then I'll take the thing out. <laughs> It's basically a very hard version of the final Morrigan boss fight from Act 2, is what it is. <laughs> Alright, so this time, now that the party is much higher leveled, I'm going to go take on Drustin's third trial, because that's pretty much the last main plot, re <clears throat> plot relevant thing to do that isn't side questing and besides taking on the Kalasmos boss fight. Alright, where are we going? There we go. Welcome on in. Did I mention I, mi I missed Twitch Studios beta? <laughs> I know eventually I'll stop talking about it, but considering it's still that fresh, I'm like... Because it had a nice feature where you could just change things on the program as opposed to doing it on Twitch's website. Uh, someday I'll get over it, but considering it hasn't even been a month... <laughs> or it's been about a month, I'm like, yeah... <laughs> That's a fat dragon. So yeah, basically, I, yeah, I level grinded off screen and then just particularly the Mangle Grove. Well, actually, you know what? I could probably show this off really quick. Because I found this out via basically a uh, online discourse post about where was the best level grinding spot for. Okay, like, this, uh, stage of it, because, like, once you get to level 85, then where I was about to go is where they recommend you do it until you're at level 99.
So yeah, you basically go to the Mangle Grove Railway Station. And then you go to this clearing where the thing they this person recommended you fight are these hands because you get about a thousand experience per hand and they're one of those enemies where they will just endlessly summon reinforcements if you let them meaning you can get a crap ton of experience plus these guys and another enemy will show up not to mention at random the metal hands will show up and if you somehow kill one it's 35,000 experience per hand and they can also summon re their own reinforcements, so let's say you kill three of them in one encounter. That's over a hundred thousand experience. So this is like a really good spot to level grind. The caveat is the person did say well, it basically loses its effect once you hit like level 85. So then you go to the final Rust and Trial to basically get yourself all the way back up to 99. Alright, now back to Zvard Rust. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I pretty much got the party up like 25 levels essentially in about a couple hours, so it's it's relatively efficient. Of course, those hands can be fickle because they're like, oh yeah, they showed up. We're just gonna run away right away. That happened like two thirds of the time. Like stupid ha party hands. <laughs> But then they make up for it by having me kill three or four of them in a single encounter. It was great. Morning. <laughs> Good morning, campers. I mean, to be fair, this is the last time in this playthrough I'm going to this area, but I'm like, someday I'll be correct about which door it is. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, so let's make it basically make our way through the snowfield once again and take on the third trial. Now that I'm 25 levels higher. And then once characters, or I guess if characters level up, just because I don't know if it's going to happen at this point in the playthrough. Unless a boss comes up. At, at some point I will mention like the differences in the skill tree in comparison to last time. Because yeah, let's just say when you level up 25 times it looks drastically different. Actually, I can just do it now. So, yeah, as you can see that sucker is way more filled out. <laughs> Let's just say all the characters have new abilities and other such things. Like, basically, Hendrik can now guaranteed bring a party member back to life, so that, that's one thing. So considering that both him and Hero can do it, plus they both have really good healing spells, it almost negates having the wanting to have Rob or Serena in your party. <laughs> well, not to mention, um... Silvando's got that really nice healing ability with his, uh, magic, uh, I don't know what you call that instrument, I'm just gonna call it a fancy clarinet. I know it's technically not a clarinet, but it looks like a clarinet. Of course, is the downside about doing the, the trials separately is you have to go to the snowfield every single time. 
as opposed to just once if you're doing all three trials in a row. Gotta make sure I set that back to normal, because let's just say I was definitely going on the ultra-fast speed during the level grinding. I can double-check after this. I, I was never aware that you could or couldn't. <laughs> Be nice if you could. Dash off his ability. <laughs> he can juggle now! In combat! <laughs> yeah, and then of course one of the best abilities that Hero now has is that he can basically instant pep himself off. <laughs> as long as you have at least 25 MP, so yay for that. Also, Hendra can now dual wield weapons, so that's why he has two axes now. Alright. Holy crap, I did not know you could do that! I was not aware that was a war point until now. Because every guide I have ever looked at has never explicitly brought up said war points. <laughs> Man, that would have saved me so much time back in the day. Starians overcome two trials, the trial of the Luminary can now be attempted. Oh yeah, I suppose I... I probably saved, but I forgot. I mean, not that it matters anymore now that I know you can just warp to this area. Okay, I did, I just wanted to be certain. Trial of Luminary, very hard, very, very hard. Be very, very wary. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hendrix is walking in the background. Back to this place. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, are you ki oh, come on, game. Alright, we'll be back in a few minutes.